Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the fall ages high with Shono here, about to give you another Marvel Contest of Champions video. In this video, you can see Mr. L Gamer's five star roster here with Corvus Glaive obviously leading the charge, a couple of other decent five stars, and quite a few mediocre five stars. So, he recorded with Kind Master because he doesn't have a capture card. It looks like he's going to start with the 5-star Awakening Gem in the first one. And I think he's just going to open it. He's not going to spin it out. He gets a Cosmic Awakening Gem. If I were him, I would throw that on Corvus right now. Right now. That's a beautiful one. So you can see some of the other stuff he's got. A Legendary Crystal. He's probably going to pop that open. He's going to get a 3-star Ronin. That's new. More points in the arena at least. That's not too bad. I always like seeing new when it comes to three and four star champions. Looks like he's got a four star crystal. He is going to spin this one out. So who does he actually need on the roster the most? That is the question. Does he need Hyperion? Does he need that Doctor Doom? Does he need a Blade? Does he need a Magneto? The wheels being goo. Oh, God. Ugh. All the people at slow rolled and he got a piece of shit. Juggernaut. Yikes. But it is an Awakening. Is it a first-time Awakening? Yeah, so you can actually use them on defense. Especially on, like, a power gain node. It's not useless. It's not good. But it's not useless. Let's actually pop the monitor over. So that's another 275 five-star shards there. All right, so... Wow, he's got no premiums. Looks like he's got six four-stars. So he got seven four stars, possibly eight with the legendary crystal. Alright, so he's got six four stars. Is he going to spin them all? Here we go. He is Pokemon spinning it, so let's see if he gets a good one. Alright, so in the second four star of the opening, a lot of saber toots on that one. He's gonna get a Drax. Not the best four star you can get, but there's definitely worse. And that's an awakening, so that's not even new, so that actually sucks. Does awaken him for the first time, I'm sure that doesn't do much. I couldn't tell you if it does or not. Alright, so we have another four star crystal here. This is the third one of the opening. Which means he has a potential 8 4 stars total. I believe he has 3 5 stars all together. Is he going to get anything better? Oh. They couldn't even give him Howard the Duck. They give him a Namor. Come on. It is an Awakening though. That's actually good. If it's a first time Awakening. Yes it is. That's great. Him at Max Sig is really good. Man, no love for Howard the Duck though. I feel a little bit sad in that because... I know that Howard the Duck is one of his favorite champions of all time. He needs to get a 5-star Howard the Duck out of one of these three 5-stars he's supposed to get, or 4. can't remember how many he actually is getting. So the next 4-star crystal is number 4 all together. He's going to get Biff. It could have just went run over to Guillotine 2099. So Namor is a great 4-star, but other than that, at least it's a new beast. I have a 4 and a 5 star beast. If you'd like my 5 star beast, I'll gladly give it to you any day of the week. I wish this game was like Transformers 4 the fight where you could disable offers because they're so bad. Like, who's going to buy them? Alright, so in the 5th 4 star overall, including the one fully formed, he's going to receive the following champion. No love again for Howard the Duck. Come on, man. Where's that Howard the Duck? We've seen it twice now. But that is a first time awakening on him too. So that's actually a good pull. Him and Namor so far really good. I'm still a little bit dejected. He could have used that ISO on Howard the Duck so badly. And they just wouldn't give it to him. Alright, so in the sixth overall four star, he's going to receive the following champion. Oh, Ebony Coleslaw joining the roster. 
Oh, man, I bet you he's cringed a little bit inside after getting that one. Welcome to the Ebony Maw Club. I must say that the four stars are a little bit underwhelming outside of Namor and Infinity War Iron Man, so that means he's probably going to get some good five stars. So the seventh guaranteed four star. Oh, that's a good one. That's good. Yes, I would gladly take a four or a five star Red Hulk. It would go great with my five star Massacre. That's actually pretty good. That's a good way to end out the four stars. So you got three new and three converted. There are the three converted. Actually, the better ones are the ones converted outside of Drax. You can see the amount of five star shards. 825 he got added to that. And you kind of gave away my, my opening there. With the chat. <laughs> We have a legendary crystal. This is a four to five star. And I'm going to go on a limb and say that he's going to get a five star crossbones from this. I have not spoiled the opening by looking in Alliance chat. It is a four star. No. Did he get a five? Ah. Oh. I would have taken a 5-star Hawkeye out of a Legendary Crystal. I mean, 4-star Modok is good for Alliance War defense. Especially if you put him on an unstunnable node. He can actually be really good. Because then you have to intercept him. And you got to deal with auto block and other garbage. So, that's good for defense. But I'd take a 5-star Hawkeye. He's a good power control champ. So, now he's got two 5-stars and a feat. He's got... No, he's got four 5-stars and a featured Crystal. He's going to spit out the one. Is he going to go with a dual class after this? You can see his main character is a four-star Doom. Is he going to get the five-star from this? Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I would not be upset with a five-star Iceman. I had to spend 40 million points in Arena to get him. When it actually went for 22, I could have awakened my 4-star, but I didn't know that. I would not be upset with an Iceman. That's actually really good. Double Immune Champion. Goes great with Suicides. You could pair him with Corvus. It'd be alright. Looks like next he's going to open up the featured 5-star Crystal. 0% chance of getting Doom out of this. But if he gets somebody like a Red Guardian, a Medusa, he can even awaken Iceman here. Dr. Octopus, Sorcerer Supreme, Storm Pyramid X. Is he going to get that Wasp? No, I'm a Frost. Okay, that's another good one. Also new, so two good mutants, I'd say. Both of which are double immune if you go with Suicides. Go with Corvus. So there's three five stars that are basically double immune, even though technically Corvus is not poison immune. You might as well consider it since he doesn't take bleed damage. So now, is he going to go for the Science and Mystic? I think he is, because he gets a higher chance of getting Doom without the other four classes in it. Is he going to get this 5-star Doom from Science and Mystic? There are a lot of good Science, like Human Torch and Void. And there's even some decent Mystics. What is he going to get out of the first one? We have not seen Doom on the reel. Oh my god, are you serious? I could just hear him batting his phone after that one. He just got the four star. Now he's got the five star. Yo. Holy fuck, dude. That is like the worst pull you can get. How dare you give him that offer not for Doom. Wow. I mean, what is he going to get out of this one? Modoc? A, a friggin' Jane Foster? I would be pissed. Ooh, okay, that, that one is good. It's not a Doom, but that one is solid. And you can actually be immune to three different things. You can be immune to Fire with Human Torch and Sunspot. You can be immune to Poison, like with Abomination, Man-Thing, and others. You can even be immune to Bleed. I think Clairvoyant is a solid pull. Yeah, I would definitely highlight that. Not him. I would definitely highlight Clairvoyant. It's probably the best one. But... Emma Frost, Iceman. Yeah, you could tell he was so pissed to check out the roster.
So this is what he started with. Corvus Glaive, She-Hulk, Massacre, Ultron. Silent. Why does everybody have a five-star Hulk except me? And why does everybody have a five-star cable? Five. Uh, Luke Cage is actually pretty good as well. I know that Punisher 2099 is getting a rework. But if we're talking between Iceman, Emma Frost, we're not talking about that fat piece of garbage, and Black Widow Clairvoyant, he's got some solid options. Ultron is also a double immune champion, so there's some really good options there. You got Corvus, you got Emma Frost or Iceman, you got Massacre, you got She-Hulk, you got Ultron. He's got a solid five right there, but yeah, I would definitely rank for that Corvus as soon as you can. And yeah, if you can get the units for suicides, get the units for suicides. Thank you for watching this opening. Thank you, MLG, for sending this over. I'm sorry you didn't get your five-star Doom that you wanted. And yeah, I'd have to say that my opening destroyed yours. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids. What the fuck? www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!